Ow! Here we go. Wow, look how slow that is to load. I'm assuming it's loading up a lot of stuff for the first time. <laughs> there you go. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more compromised less a hero would have done better you know this of course you were there my father used to tell me stories about the ancient times about the star league a golden age of prosperity upheld by the great mech warriors of old Guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. So from what I've been told, uh, you don't have to do the campaign, but it helps. <laughs> but you have to at least get to a certain point in the campaign to, uh, to unlock the Argo, which is basically your, your ship. Prior to that, you get to pay down loans and stuff. So I do have a unit name already picked out. Uh, where is it? So I'm going with the Roselhead colors. <laughs> so when you guys see the name you're going to be understanding why i'm going with uh well i mean i am a member of a free wrestle hag uh unit so or what so this is where we set up a person in reach the oregon reach is a small kingdom in the ring world periphery originally in the space that lies in the outskirts of the more densely colonized colonized inner sphere it is home of the Oregon Coalition, a federation, uh, federation organized around a uh, parliamentary monarchy, basically an elected leader, an elected uh, king. So it's kind of like uh, Alderaan from Star Wars, where they vote on the king or queen, um, and rule by the Arano family. Uh, for three generations under the, the rule of House Arano, the Oregon Coalition uh, has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. Baseball, and this is where we begin. So, theoretically, you don't have to do the campaign missions. Um, it was understood before that they would lose after a certain amount of time, and then they would just kind of fade into the into the the background. But from the sounds of it, now it's just there. 
So you don't have to do it, but you know it unlocks like huge swaths of the map for you if you do it. I think it's 50% of the map is locked until you do it. All right. Decades ago, your family came to the Reach from. So the Free Razzle Hag Republic is not here. Closest we got is the Karita. Um. I mean, we're definitely, we kind of got to go create it because what the Razzle Hike Republic, the Free Razzle Hike Republic is in here, so. You are a noble birth. Though immigrants of the Oregon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in the small backwater system on the edge of Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family has become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's titles, and the ancestral battle mech, Blackjack. You can change that in the game if you want to. Mods. Um, this is where you met Raju Massif Montgomery. Uh, veteran of the Succession Wars, whom your parents hired for a season to train you as a mech warrior. I want to mention, with dude's tattoos on his face, and the way he's dressed, and the way his hair is, I guarantee you, he's a clanner. The hair and the face tattoos. I'm just saying. Uh, Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly become a skilled pilot under his tutelage. Um, it was an uneventful life. And if you um, know your lore, I believe the Wolf's Dragoons are wandering around the inner periphery at this point. Uh, maybe because I have information you can change. I wouldn't be surprised. But even then, it would be then you're a member of House uh, or Clan Ghost Bear <laughs> in the conquered area of the Free Razzleheg Republic. Or Ghost Bear Dominion. Oh, no, the Free Razzleheg Dominion. That would kick ass. Until the day after your 16th birthday, when you were exiled, we get one gunnery and one tactics. We struck it on our own, one pilot and one tuck tech. You went family, family went bankrupt? No. Uh, your family died in an accident? No. Your family was betrayed? Nope. We struck it on our own because we went to a Viking. Uh, as there are no family, we grew up wanting nothing. As it turns out, you couldn't stand uh, a life of uh, pampered nobility. Finally, one night you stole away in your family's ancestral biojack and still have to find a new life to call your own. Out on your own, you fell into a life of being a Norwegian soldier, being a frontier pirate, a Solaris gladiator, an inner sphere mercenary, a frontier freelancer, or a merchant guard. Going with the gladiator. Uh, you took your skills in the Mech Warrior Fiend Arena Solaris 7. Been playing that a lot. You eked out a living as a gladiator fighting for the crowd in minor arenas, getting by paycheck to paycheck. Until years later, later, you cross the pass of Raju, Montgomery once again. Uh, you were a low-level champion, down on your luck, and one bad fight away from the gutter, until Raju heard about you. He trekked all his way to Solaris to offer you passage back to the Oregon Reach, and a job for Hesoranu as the Royal Guard. And hopefully he has a better chair than I do. See, look at it. The hair, shaved here, shaved here. Those might be scars. Uh, so you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing for your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Kamea Aranu. Oh, that's why I know. They? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Bronson. I'm a lighter. Alright, so hold on. There's currently five people watching. One, two, three, four, five. Alvin! Elvin Santiago. 
Dude with a beard, preferably. Oh, there we go. Got the kind of like the Viking uh, tattoos. Oh, for this guy, that definitely screams Viking. butterfly tattoo on your head. Nothing screams scary like a butterfly tattoo. There we go. Uh, how about no scar? Eyebrows are fine. Facial hair. I want a beard. Facial hair five is good. Uh, no. There we go. <laughs> it's a big butterfly tattoo on your forehead. Just running around at everyone going, Rawr! Fear my wings. Okay, he look I want him to look sinister. That's fine. Black hair, black tips, eyes. I wish you have one eye a different color. Skin's fine. Oh, it's lipstick. Okay, that's what that is. Normal. Yeah, black's fine. Interesting. So this is just changing of the colors of the clothes. For green. It's actually not bad. So Alvin Santiago. That does not sound. There we go. Bjorn Muller. There we go. So three gunnery, three piloting, three tactics, and two guts. So we get an extra pilot tactics and extra gunnery. Like how you, they let you do the whole thing and then let you start over again. Hi Lord, Dash the Man Runners. You can reach buttons and start the crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Victorians. Lady Santiago Espinosa, her lord. Uh, Brother-in-law of the High Lord is convinced that the slum of the Council of Founding Houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would conscript their house guard and centralize power under his throne. However, the High Lord heir of the local lady, lady Kamea Rano, has determined to rebuild the reach with a transforming blah blah blah. Converse to the Council Directive and about Kamea. 
City. So technically the tutorial in my eyes and from what I've seen on the streams is up until the point where you get uh, I think the Argo. Everything prior to that is it's hemming you into a certain area on the map and everything. Coronation Day! Mercy Unit Wolster Groons appeared in the Inner Sphere at 3005 supporting five regiments of pristine battlement. Very suspicious. See, they should do like the Wolf's Dragoon DLC. Now, mind you, the 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 mechs they used were like blackjack. There were no actual clan mechs that they used. Every mech they used were current Inner Sphere versions. Copy. And once this is done, I've got two energy drinks. Here we go. Command interface initiated. Move uh, with WASD. Oh, well, thank you. oh. okay, Adrian. Uh, I had Espinosa the refit yards of rush repairs on your blackjack. It looks like all in one piece. We should run a diagnostic on it and make sure standard field tests, you know, the drill. More importantly, though, I want to tell you more about the job you, I brought you out here to do. Now, do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. I'll see if there's any kinks in the actuator. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. I uh, brought you here because there's something wrong with the capital. It's been too quiet since Lord High Tam uh, Tamadis, I guess, uh, funeral. I'm worried about Leia Committee of Safety during the coronation. Well, it looks like your activators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Uh, target one of these burnt out old urban mechs at open fire. So, like I was saying, everyone I've can't seen prove through, anything. But my gut tells me something's off. This is the only time trust I've instincts. seen urban mechs. Only time Irbies have been spotted in the in the campaign, or even in any missions. Um, now I don't have multi-targeting, so that uh, heat of fun. All weapons committed. Destroyed. Training level 14 years old, uh, naive at times. Uh, serious safety in Korea City. Arrest easier once she's in the capital with a cousin beside her. Uh, Lady Victoria, she's also be training under me for the single season. Has already shaped herself into the finest trans mech warriors I've seen. Reminds me a lot of you. Uh, we're not checking the targeting computer. There, 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 there. Uh, take out if we're gonna go shot. Kamea's like a daughter to me, and her late father, High Lord Tamati, was a good friend. Oh, well, let me do that. What? Oh, boom. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can actually go in and edit in one of the files somewhere and give yourself something else instead of a blackjack. All weapons committed. Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. So the rear armor only has seven in one structure, so theoretically I should be able to do this. Targeting rear armor. I was gonna on my own personal playthrough, Enemy I'm gonna give myself a, uh, an enforcer instead. Uh 
which was badly shaken by her death. Uh, I need to use some transfer of power, etc., etc., etc. Engaging jump jets. Enemy detected. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. How'd that overheat my Mac? Possibly detected. Uh, complaining about the maintenance. Uh, go ahead and take down that with melee, and we'll take it back to the, to the work here. Okay. Uh, I would prefer to be able to attack it from a different angle. Guess not. So melee will do 40 damage. We're coming at him from the left, and he only has... Oh. Hey, it's a target dummy. Oh yeah, target dummy. <laughs> I'm like, that's going to do more than... So if you damage a part, it'll transfer to the next part. From what I've been told. Uh, you can only do Push it. That it's a um, if it's something the mech goes down. wrong today, I want to know that your mech can maneuver. If the mech is down prone, like if it's uh, if you knock it down, you can do a called shot. If it's powered down due to overheating, you can do it. You can do a called shot, and then there's the morale system where you can do a called shot as well. I'm just gonna turn the audio down a little bit further. Hi. Right. Yeah, those are the only times you can do called shots. It's those three three times I think. Where did that shot come from? Display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Oh, I can't actually shoot anybody. All right, well, let's just sprint in then. Full throttle. Let me introduce Camille Rano, soon to be High Lady of the Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father is summoning me to the Picton Ducks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to uh, preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of an old daughter. A font of tedium that never runs dry. Hello, Mr. Sam. I know the feeling, Kazan, but at the time tomorrow, you'll be responsible for the entire reach. Um, give my best to your father. Don't be late for the tournament. Gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity in Pirate. <sighs> Laughing. Uh, bold words, cousin. But the only victory of Lee is mine. Uh, you may be ascending to the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for for the friendly air room that you call a battle mech in the arena, I reign supreme. Uh, no idea what that mech is. So obviously it's the name of the mech. What the name of the mech is, we don't know. Or what the actual uh, variant it is, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, cousin, we'll see. At any rate, I'll see you at the tourney grounds, Sir Raju. Uh, I'm ready to go when you are overland, along the Cormorant Road, as the Arano tradition Hi, Kamea. Look at there. And that's mission first successful. mission done. 